when we talk about the world in which we live, and we have mentioned that in several instances before, we tend at first to look with our senses. Eyes, we listen to things. So when you do that to this particular shrub, this little oak shrub, the first thing that you will do is saying leaves, it doesn't look so well, uh, you have all kinds of ideas coming from your senses, but it's far more than that. When we look at it from a metaphysical perspective, then we are not only looking at the physical, but also on everything that we call energetic. We expand what we see. And when we expand what you see, you get a far better idea about how this world in which we live is functioning. So when you then look at this shrub and you say, okay, let me see whether I can learn to feel what is around this particular tree, the energies around. And everyone can learn that. Everyone can learn that. A lot of people say, that's not for me. If you believe that, yes, it's not for you. But everyone can learn it because it's a brain function. And a brain you can train. So when you train your brain, you will at a certain moment begin to feel that around this shrub there is a certain energy field. Like we have an energy field that we call the aura. But not only that, when you really can look farther, you may be able to see that there is a being connected with that. And in some traditions this being is called a deva. The deva is like, you can say, a caretaker. It helps to maintain the essence of what this shrub is. So we need, if you really want to understand that, also to learn to communicate with this deva. Many people call them nature spirits. Some people even say that nature spirits are different from devas. I don't think so, but that's all a matter of definition, which is not important for what we are talking about. Every individual shrub has its own deva. Can you imagine how many devas there are around here? Every animal has its own deva. But now there is something that may be very surprising to you. This is filmed with a camera. Do you know that that camera has a deva? Most people don't. So if you scream at your computer, you are also, with your aggressive energy, throwing off the poor being that is the caretaker of that. I know for a lot of people this is a bridge too far. So realize that I'm challenging you a little bit to expand your way of looking at this world. Because if you are not willing to expand, you will stay in that limited way of seeing this world and consequently will never be able to create something new. You will not be able if you stay in a limited way of looking. I call it the myopic view. This is the world. Oh, there is only this. No, there is so much more. And all those beings, millions and millions of beings around us are waiting to say, can we work together? Even can we play together? Because this world is supposed to be fun. This is to enjoy. But we are so caught in our problems and issues and are so disconnected from the world around us. How can we then truly play? Realize that there's millions of beings and there are far more, but it just gives you a little bit of a taste of why it would be so wonderful to develop your skills and begin to connect with all those beings that are patiently waiting for you because they really would like to connect. Well, you can always join us on our journey of exploration because this is what we do in Metaphysical Ecology.